Hey y'all, this is Patriot Prepper. I just want to make a little video here to introduce myself and let you know how I got involved with prepping. Um, I'm not new to YouTube. I have another channel and I'll get into that at some other time. Um, some of you people know me, some you don't. And uh, I met a lot of great people on YouTube. I have a lot of friends. Um, there's a lot of great information, a lot of great channels. And uh, this little video is just an introduction to say hi to everybody and to uh, introduce myself and talk a little bit about how I got involved in prepping. Well, I got involved in prepping over 30 years ago and one of my friends got me into it. His father was a prepper, he's a survivalist and they were very keenly aware of world situations and the things that were going on in the world. Well, one of the books that really got me into it was this book right here. It talks about the failing of your money, of the economy. Now, this book has got a Christian base to it. And it talks about the 666 system. Um, if you're a Christian, you're aware of what that means. I don't want to get into religion right now, or maybe this channel is not devoted to religion. You know, yeah, I, I'm a Christian but maybe not the greatest example. So, but this book gets into other things. This book, this book exposes the one world government plot. It talks about the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the World Health Organizations. This book predicted 30 years ago the things that are going on today. The things that are taking away our freedom and our liberties and eventually will destroy the Constitution, our sovereignty. What you have to understand, there is a group of people who want a one world government. It's not conspiracy, it's a fact. They have plans, they have programs. This ain't some wild, crazy, out, far-fetched thing. Well, after reading this book, you know, and talking to my friend 30 years ago, I got into prepping. Now, we didn't call it prepping. We were survivalists, and uh, we did everything we could. I mean, we had a, 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 almost a 30-foot truck packed full of <laughs> grains, rice, beans, uh, defensive items, everything you need to prep. And we have property out. We bought property out west. Now, that was 30 years ago, and it's a long time ago. We didn't call ourselves, like I said, we didn't call ourselves preppers, but we were preppers. In this process of 30 years of prepping, I learned a few things and interesting things. And, you know, I watched some of the videos that are out there and, and there's some people that got great insight and have some great information to share with you. And I'm just hoping that I can help augment some of that information and help you understand what you need to be prepared for the worst case scenario. Now, like I said, 30 years is a long time. And there were many times when we thought, hey, this is it. It's happening now. And maybe we were a little prepared. Pre I mean, uh, maybe we were a little bit ahead of schedule, but at least we were prepared. And maybe there were, like I said, false alarms. But every day I see the noose ten tightening, the noose around the neck of freedom, liberty, the Constitution, our Bill of Rights is being squeezed and it's getting worse on a daily basis. Right now the Federal Reserve has manipulated the money supply. The politicians have spent our government basically almost into bankruptcy. I guess actually if it was a private corporation it'd be bankrupt. So these are very, very dangerous times and very difficult times to understand for many Americans. They somehow think that their political party, whichever side they choose, is going to bail them out and going to fix everything, possibly overnight. Well, I hope they do. And like I said, I've seen many false alarms. And I'm hoping that this is just a passing phase. But I'm not willing to take that risk. And I suggest that you don't take that risk either, that you start doing things to prepare now, in my videos, I'm going to do reviews of gears, weapons, and there's a lot of them out there, but I'm going to do my reviews. I'm going to show you maybe some survival skills, everything from primitive survival to prepping and homesteading, 
all the equipment you need, the gear you need, the techniques, the skill level, everything you need to, to build, prepare a survival environment and to maintain it over the long term. You know, some people are thinking of bugging out for 72 hours. Well, I plan on surviving hopefully till I'm 100 years old and maybe another 40 years and it's possible to do that. So that's what my channel is going to be devoted to. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe, tune in and uh, I'm going to start working on more videos. So God bless you and my message is keep on prepping. God bless you. This Patriot Prepper saying, keep on prepping and never surrender.